Welcome back to our soda machine project. In this video, we're going to um, make a method that removes the soda from the 2D array in our machine. Um, in the last uh, video, we made a method that checks to see what um, type of soda they want to remove, like Diet Coke or Pepsi. And once we have the column that that soda is in, either column 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 in our 5x5 five five array, then um, we'll make a method to remove it from that column. All right, so we're going to go back to the soda machine. And we're going to make a method that says public void remove stock and we'll need the column that we want to remove the stock from. And we'll say that if column is equal to zero, we want to use a for loop to walk through the array. So we'll say for int row is equal to zero as long as the row is less than the soda cans dot length. Let's see, my array, what is the name of my array? Let's go back and check to make sure that the name is correct. Alright, so actually our array is named sodas, so let's go back and change soda cans to sodas. So it's sodas dot length. We'll add to the row. And then we'll say if sodas at a specific row and column and we'll get the brand name because we only want the brand name like diet pepsi coke dot equals equals ignore case pepsi then we want to replace the net that brand name with the word empty. So we'll say sodas at row and column equals new soda, but we will um, just pass in the word empty. Because if we just delete it, then um, since we're deleting an object, that place will be null and we'll get a null pointer exception if we try to look in that memory space where that soda used to be. And then once we've done that, we'll just break out of the loop. And then since I have so many curly braces here, I'm going to say, put in some end comments, end of conditional, end of loop. of outer conditional. And then I still have an end of method. So the process is pretty much the same for each um, in each case. So now we can say basically else if column is equal to 1 And we're going to do the same thing for int row is equal to zero as long as the row is less than our sodas array dot length and keep going. So count up the rows. And then we'll say if sodas at row and column 
dot get brand name dot equals ignore case diet Pepsi then we just want to replace it with empty so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this save while I can and then basically what I want to do is want to repeat this for each row so again I will um, copy these end brackets here place them with these so I can keep track of what's what and then I'll do another else if again so else if column is equal to 2 Then I'll walk through the array again. And I'll check that if the sodas row and column dot get brand name equals ignore case this time it's pepper dr pepper and so does that row column equal the new soda and I'm making it empty and the reason I can do this is because if you remember back in Soda, I have a Soda constructor that um, just takes a brand name. And I'm just changing the brand name from Dr. Pepper or Pepsi to Empty as a place marker for that um, place in the 2D array when I buy a Soda. And then I'll just add these comments again. and save and then we got one more to do I believe we got two more to do so I'm just going to go ahead and copy the other two and now I'm going to say else if column is equal to three then I need to check for seven up and make it empty and then I also need to do it one more time for my water column. So else if column four, then it's water. And I'll make it empty. Okay, so now we can go back to our runner and we have a method for removing the stock and then what we want to do basically is once we remove it we want to check it again so we'll say machine dot check stock Okay, let's save and run it. Got a spelling mistake there. Nope, must have been where I was copying and pasting and I didn't realize it. Okay, back to the runner. Now, we've printed out our current stock and we want to buy a Pepsi. Oops, and I think I still need to. Yeah, 
Oh yes, because I didn't add the system dot out uh, print ln around my check stock. And there you can see that I added a null in my 2D array, so I've ordered one and then the Pepsis have all gone down to the bottom. Okay, so you can then use this method to expand on your um, soda machine and you could also, um, now when somebody orders a uh, Coke, I mean a Pepsi or a Diet Coke, you could charge them a certain money and keep track of um, how much they put in and how much um, it costs and then subtract and give them their change back. So um, we will finish up the runner in the next video if you or if you um, you can do it on your own and be adventurous. See you next time.